Good morning, boys and girls. I wish you a very good Sunday this morning. And this morning in our lesson, we are going to learn about a man called Stephen. I'm sure some of you have heard about Stephen, who was very courageous and who obeyed God in everything that he did. But because of his favor for loving God and other things that I was doing in doing uh, God's work, there was a lot of opposition. People did not like what he was saying, but he never feared because he was with God and God was with him. Let's hear the story of what happened at that time. Now, boys and girls, before we start the lesson, let's say a quick prayer. We know what to do, our hands together, bow our, our heads, and we say, our Father and our God come to you this morning, thanking you for this opportunity once again to study your word, Heavenly Father. I know today you are going to teach us about Stephen, Father. We praise you, we honor you, because you know you protected him, and you also received him in heaven when he, when he died. We thank you, we honor you, we give you all the glory, Father, as we start this lesson, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all boys and girls say, Amen. Now, like, they, like we said about uh, Stephen, Stephen was a man after God's heart, and he was full of wisdom. He was made in charge of giving uh, food to the widows during that time, and when he was doing that, People were opposing him. They had a lot of opposition to him. But him, he, never, he never stopped believing in God. And he never stopped doing a good job. So when he was chosen among the, the others to help care for the widows in the early church, they, they, they felt that he might not be able to do a good job. But he did a good job because he depended on God. The people opposing opposing Stephen lied that uh, he was speaking blasphemy against Moses and against God. They could not stand against his wisdom. And you know, during those times, they held that Moses was a great prophet, and they did not want anybody saying anything bad or anything wrong against him. So when they were accusing Stephen of speaking blasphemy against Moses and against the patriarchs, they, they were trying to incite the people so that they could not listen to Stephen they, and they could not follow him, what he was suggesting. But Stephen was full of God's wisdom and he did not fear uh, giving more God's word and doing the job that uh, he had been allotted to do. So during those times, anybody speaking against, against Moses and God in a, very bad, in a very bad way, it was a crime. And usually, it ended up being people being stoned, those who are saying bad things about Moses or about God or about the patriarchs who are the, the first, first forefathers of the Israelites. The bad people offered, steered the people who lied and brought Stephen to their court. And now he was being accused of so many things that he had not even done. The, the court was called St. Henry. And there they told more lies. Because what they were doing, they were just telling lies. Because the things they were accusing uh, Stephen of, he had not even done them. He had not even thought about them at all. So the high priest asked Stephen if the charges were true. That is it true what these people are saying? That you're speaking against Moses? You're speaking against God? And you're uh, blaspheming about God in what you're saying? And Moses, full of the Spirit, he showed how Jesus had always persecuted, how the Jews had already had persecuted all the prophets who came before and who spoke God's word. And he started from the beginning and told the council that they were resisting the Holy Spirit and disobeying God's law. They, this made the council members very angry because they were being accused of not doing the right thing. And they wanted to prove to the other people the ones who are listening there, that Stephen was the one who was in the wrong, and they did not want to believe in what he was saying. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven, and he saw the glory of God, because God enabled him to do that, to see that, the honor. And he saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God the Father. And he said, I see heaven open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. The council 
members covered their ears because they did not want to hear this. This was something they felt that, no, this, this cannot be true. And because Stephen was speaking the truth at that time, they wanted to show that this was not part of what they wanted um, Stephen to be talking to them about. So they were, they were very angry. Some of them tried to cover their ears. Some of them tried to cover their eyes as if their eyes were listening. But that did not stop Stephen from speaking the truth. Stephen started from the, all the way from the, the first tribes of Israel. He spoke about Jacob and Joseph and the other 11 brothers of Joseph. He said how they came from Canaan during, during the famine and they went and stayed in Egypt. And Stephen reminded them they had been told that they are going to be in captivity for 400 years before going back to the promised land. The, 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 patriarchs, the, the patriarchs were there in Egypt and they set up uh, their, 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 their lives there and they stayed there for those 400 years till another pharaoh, a bad one, came on, came on the throne. And that's when, most, the, the same time that Moses was born. And Moses is one with, full of wisdom also. He was able to bring the Israelites out of Egypt into the promised land. And when he was doing this, he was able to, be, to communicate with God because God chose him to be the one to bring the Israelites back to the promised land. And they were in the desert for more than 40 years. During these 40 years, they were all being, being led by Moses. And they listened to Moses. But Moses was not able to cross the, the river Jordan to go with them to the promised land. Because God took him at that time and was not able to come to the promised land. When the, the council was hearing all this, because Stephen, through the Holy Spirit, was able to give the history of the Israelites. And the people are listening and they are paying attention. But the leaders, the priests, and those who are Jews who are, who are in the Sanhedrin, they did not want to listen to that. They tried again to cover their ears, to cover their eyes, accusing Stephen of blasphemy. But Stephen was saying, no, this is all the history from the Israelites. And you know how it all started. And when all this was going on, the, the priests were very, very, very angry. And they were trying to see what they could do to Stephen to make sure that he could not be able to give on the story that he was giving. Because people were believing him and they were listening to what he was saying. So they, they started yelling at the top of their voices. And they dragged Stephen out of the city and began to stone him. You know, when, when uh, something happened and they had to stone somebody, the person was taken out of the city and was stoned out of the city till he died. That was what they did with Stephen. Stephen was dragged from in front of the Sanhedrin, from those judges, and was taken out of the city. And out of the city, they stoned him and they started throwing stones. And when they were doing that, uh, Stephen was praying and he said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Because even at the moment that uh, Stephen was going to die, he still held that God was faithful and God was good. And was trying to pray to God that he would not punish this, these people who are accusing him. These the people who are... Uh, pulling some things against him and putting all those negative, negative thoughts to them. But Stephen did not even hold that against them. And he was being very faithful. And because he could see God and he knew that God was the one who was leading him, he was not very scared at all. He was not, he was not afraid at all. And you can refer this when, when you get to your own time because the Bible lesson comes from Acts chapter 6, verse 8, to chapter 7, verse 16. And that's the story of how this Stephen was, how he was able to face the Sanhedrin, face those people who were rejecting his uh, testimony, and still he was able to convince people 
alone, leaving alone the leaders because the leaders did not want to take that message to heart because they were doing this thing which was wrong and they knew God would not like it. Now, Stephen telling them what they were doing was wrong was pointing out to their, their false motives because they were trying to show that they were better than, than Stephen. They were even better than God as it was because they were trying to say that, you know, Stephen, is what he's telling us is not something that, you know, that is true, that is correct. But at the end, Stephen sees, I've, see, I've seen God, I've seen Lord Jesus on the right-hand side of God the Father. And he says, Lord, take my spirit. And God did that to remind us also on the same lesson. Our memory verse comes from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. And it says, Stand steady and don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Bring others to Christ. And because of Stephen's testimony, all years, all these thousands of years after, we still believe in God. And we're able to quote Stephen, Stephen leading people to God and reminding them that God is our Father and is our Savior. And what we need to do is to stand and not be afraid. Like Stephen was not afraid because Stephen knew he was with God and he could see even when they were, they were killing him before his spirit gave up and went to heaven, he could see God the Father and Jesus the Son standing side by side in heaven and he knew on his death that was going to be in heaven. So remember, you need to be faithful. You need to speak the truth every time that you, you want to speak. And be courageous when you witness about God, because God will give you the spirit. He'll give you the power to be able to honor him and to glorify him. And the people listening to you are going to know that you have the spirit with you, because when you are giving testimonies about God and you are, you are listening to God, God, through the Holy Spirit, infills your body and your mind, and you are able to give the the actual things that is happening in your life and making people depend on God because God is faithful and reminding of the memory verse again, stand, stand steady and don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Bring others to Christ. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. So remember, boys and girls, anytime you're talking about God to others, remember God listens and God will give you the power to be able to testify that his, his good and his love endures forever. And as long as you do that, then you're going to be walking with God. And the Holy Spirit who is in you is going to guide you and to help you. And we know that we do all this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God. And as you can see, Stephen saw him in heaven the moment before he died. And he told those Sanhedrin judges that he could see God and he could see Jesus Christ. And he knew on his death he was going to be received in heaven by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So let us all be courageous, boys and girls. Let us remember what we are doing and that what we are doing is for the honor and glory of God. And God is going to support us. He's going to give us the zeal to be able to testify about him and bring others to him. So remember always to speak the truth and remember God loves you all the time and is going to enable you to do all that you need to do. So let us say a prayer as we finish. Our Father and our God, we come to you once again, thanking you for reminding us about Stephen's story. We, remind, we are reminded, Heavenly Father, that he looked up to you, Father, and you never let him down and was able to see you, and you were able to welcome to heaven to be with you, with uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and with the Holy Spirit, Father. Stephen, up to today, speaks to us, Father, and we thank you for enabling him to do that, Father. We honor you, we glorify you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we all say, Amen.
Staring at a mountain, a giant that comes, oh, I will pray.